Hey guys, welcome to the first video in this new Patreon supported series. If you want to keep the series going and vote on what knife I look at next, check out the link in the description below. Alright, with that out of the way, let's get right into the review. And today we're looking at a new CSGO knife for Epica, this time it's the CSGO Flip Knife. It comes in a fairly standard box, but it's nice that they show the actual knife on the front. Opening up, we see the Flip Knife and the one I selected was the Autotronic. It looks a little bit different than the picture, and the handles look a bit more green and so does the blade. But this only seems to be the case with natural light. Indoors or even in the shade, it looks pretty much identical to the picture. Now let's move on to the knife design. The overall design looks very nice. The printing is nice and sharp, and the finish foregoes a standard plain gloss or matte finish, and has a bit of an odd texture to it. It's a bit weird having a metal texture printed on a metal knife, but this allows them to make it look pre-worn. There's even a mesh design at the top of the blade that has some great detail too. Here's where the odd texturing actually starts to really work. The texturing on the mesh matches up with the printed image, so when the light hits it, it makes the pattern more convincing and gives it more of a 3D look. And a somewhat sporadic etching texture on the lower section of the knife makes it look less flat and boring and a little bit more metallic. The knife's not too heavy, it's about average for a knife of this size, it's noticeably lighter than some of the butterfly knives we've looked at. As for the blade, it has a nice sweep to it, just like the in-game model. The steel is 440C, as with many blades in this price range, but it's specially hardened to allow it to hold its edge even longer. And yes, this knife comes sharpened, and it's actually pretty sharp. Even with a small amount of pressure, it can cut very cleanly. Cardboard would obviously be a little bit harder, but even a tiny bit of pressure, it can cut through layers fairly easily. Now let's move on down to the handle. It's well shaped, easy to grip, and has a nice texture with the G10 scales. The pocket clip is nice too, and it looks to be reversible. And to stay open, this knife uses a very uncommon locking system. This is the Axis Lock, the style the Benchmade knives are known for. It's a nice system and it offers easy locking and unlocking of your knife, but it did cause a minor issue for me. This is not a huge deal, but fully opening a knife did not really feel natural to me. It feels a little bit stiff for one thing, but a little bit of oil on the washers and the lock definitely helped it slide better, but the bigger issue seems to be the actual motion used to open the knife. For one, the access lock requires a little bit of extra pressure to fully lock a knife opened, so that can feel a little bit odd. And second, with most knives when you're opening them, you swing the stud in almost a perfect circle to fully open and lock the knife. With this one, it moves in more of an oval pattern. Again, the difference is really small, it's just something you'll probably notice, and something you'll have to adjust to. And yeah, that's pretty much the only complaint I have with the knife, and it's a really minor one. Does this mean a knife is hard to open? No, of course not. It just feels a bit unnatural to me. But other than that, it's a great knife. It's built well and feels very solid. Any minor issues I had with the overall pattern of the blade are completely impossible to see from just more than a few inches away. So you have to be really, really staring at it to notice any of that. If you're looking for an everyday carry CSGO replica, going with a flip knife is probably your best option. And since it's a manual opening knife too, not even spring assisted, you should be able to carry it most places and have it shipped pretty much anywhere. So yeah, if you want to buy one, I'll have an Amazon link in the description along with a link to the official website. And if you want to vote on what knife I cover next, be sure to support the Patreon, I'll have a link to that below. And yeah, thanks for watching, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.